former devolution and agriculture CS Mwangi Kunjuri has made a comeback in politics six months since he was sacked from the office by President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta, replacing him with CS Peter Munya. Now, Kiunjuri promised Kenyans that he was going nowhere. And yesterday, he made a comeback in politics with a brand new party called the Service Party, TSP, in black, yellow, and red colors. Mark this. <laughs> wow. Vituko. Sijui hii alitoa wapi. Now, this Kinjuri was perceived as a potential running mate for Dr. William Samway Ruto from Central Region come 2022 general election. But before I go on, I want to welcome everyone on this platform. And if you are new, kindly subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications once we have a new video out. Here we only discuss politics mainly. Now back to our topic. Before I make my remarks, now let us a little bit check on the background of Kiunjuri's politics in the central region. Now, number one, you will realize that Kiunjuri was former Laikipia East member of parliament. And two, in March 2018, sorry, in March 2012, on 18th, he registered his party called GNU, the Grand National Union Party. And in 2013, he contested for Laikipia gubernatorial seat, but he lost it to someone called Governor Joshua Irungu. But luckily, this GNU party managed to get one governor, Wairia, and some number of MCS within Mount Kenya region that time. Now, two years later, in 2015, Uhuru appointed Kiunjuri as CS Devolution. And in 2016, Kiunjuri merged his GNU party with TNA, URP, and other parties to form Jubilee Party. <laughs> And now, in 2018, he was again appointed as CS Agriculture, since he did not contest for any city in that election. Remember that time he was serving as a CS in the first time. So he couldn't run for office. And later, the hardest time for him was on 14th January 2020 when President Uhuru Kenyatta sacked him as a CS from a position of, a, from a CS agriculture, when there was irregular payments of maize farmers. So that is Kiunjuri. Now we are asking a question here, what is Kiunjuri's political strategy for coming up with this new party? That is our question today. Now, this TS party <laughs> TSP party has been rebranded in black, yellow, and red colors, as we had said before. And without any doubt, really, you can you can easily say this is URP associate. Ile ilikuwa ruto yambelen. Again, the move is good, and this move is really beneficial for both deputy president and Kiunjuri himself, since the deputy president supporters in central region, you know he still commands some number of people there, can easily align themselves within TPS party. And again, we can conclude that Ruto Hand might have been in the registration of this party. As you can see, things stand by. And this can make Ruto to reach Mount Kenya region easily using this party since he no longer controls Jubilee Party 
as things used to be. If you check on the current situation, Uhuru took Jubilee party and he's the one in full charge of that party. Again, since this party is existing, they can also use this time to rebrand Kiunjuri as a possible running mate to Uhuru, to, sorry, to, to Dr. William Samoy Ruto, since Kiunjuri is still getting some support in central Kenya because in the last election, in the other election, he got sizable number of MCS and one governor. Remember that one. So now Jubilee Asili <laughs> and this TSP party are the same and the two speak same language. So this is Ruto. Kiunjuri is Ruto and the Ruto is Kiunjuri in that party. So let us wait to see how things will unfold and we see how these people are going to go on. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And please remember to subscribe to this platform.